Movement and locomotion is essential for the survival of many organisms. Hence, they respond to stimulus in their environment. The response, in many cases, is to find food, mate, water, escape predator, find shelter, and for general safety. The following lab will assist teachers and students with the completion of the labs for the CSEC Biology and Human and Social Biology exams and other exams too. Please note the labs were modified. Hence, teachers will apply a time multiplier. The following skills can be assessed. ORR, AI, however teachers may choose to assess other skills. Teachers are able to add questions to suit their needs. The following questions are suggested. 1. Construct a table to show response time for the organisms. 2. What was the color of the euglena? 3. How long did it take all the organisms to completely respond to the stimulus? 4. In relation to light and dark, how did these organisms respond? 5. Why did they respond the way they did? 6. The response time differed for the organisms. Account for the difference in time. 7. How does the response impact the survival of the organisms? 8. Would the response of plants be similar? If yes, explain. You are required to have pen and paper to record the observation for this lab. Please pause the video if you don't have this. Now let's move on. The lab comes to you from CSEC Biology, the cover page. You can find us on YouTube. So it's CSEC Biology, the cover page. And of course, I'm Mr. Wilson. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, remember to click the notification bell. And we want you to tell us in the comment section if using the virtual lab helped. All you need to write is yes or no. The questions should be in the description. Motile protists, euglena. We are looking at how they respond to light. These organisms are of economic importance to man. They are able to move as they have flagellum. They live in wet and watery environment. Motayuglina placed in a container. The first movement was 10 minutes after the light was turned on. Add 5 minutes to the movement of each of the other euglena. After an hour, all the organism moved in the direction of the light. The organisms contained chlorophyll. It's important to note we started the experiment with 11 organisms. It's important for you to observe how many organisms actually moved in the direction of the light. Of course, most of the organism, if not all, moved in the direction of the light. It's very important for you to watch the experiment to the end. And it's important that you remember that organisms are going to respond differently to stimulus. Remember the old topic, variation.
now we'll observe oxygen bubbles in the container It is required that you time the experiment as you must note the movement or the response time for the organisms. If you look closely at the container to the bottom of the container, you should be able to see uh, at least shadows of the organisms that could help you with the movement and the timing. as these organisms respond to light. It might also be important for you to record at least two other types of organism that probably will respond like the Euglena 